In our gospel today, Jesus said, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. So this is part of the, the law in the Old Testament in our first reading today. It says, This very day, your God is commanding you to observe these statutes and ordinances, so observe them diligently with all your heart and with all your soul. As we know, the Israelites were not able to fulfill this law. Uh, and yet Jesus, here in our gospel, said, not only that you should love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but now love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And for me, when I was like reading this, wow, what a tall order to love even our enemies. I struggle with that. But Jesus, Jesus said, I came even though the Old Testament, the laws uh, were imperfect and people were really struggling to follow the law, he said, I came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. When Jesus is asking us to love our enemies, he, he's not going to ask us if we cannot fulfill it. But we cannot fulfill it on our own. That's why we struggle, because we're trying to do it on our own. That's why Jesus came, to help us fulfill it. First, he came to die on the cross, and from his side was pierced, blood and water came up. And we know the blood signifies the Eucharist, the water signifies baptism. There's graces there. Graces means power, power to fulfill the law, power to fulfill what Jesus is telling us to do. But I could say all of us have received the sacraments. And why do we still struggle to love our enemies? Because the sacrament is just one part. The other part is for us to enter into a relationship with Jesus. Because all these graces will only be activated by our faith in Him. Faith comes from experiencing His love for us. It says in Scripture, we love because God first loved us. We could only love to the point wherein we are experiencing the love of God in our life. We can't give what we don't have. So that hopefully we will be able to love ourselves, to love our imperfection, to love our weaknesses. Because in Scripture it says we love others as we love ourselves. If we couldn't love our imperfection, our weaknesses, we couldn't love the imperfection and weaknesses of others as well. To the same degree, right? To the same degree that you love yourself, that you will be able to love others, even your enemies. And that's one of the, the, the trademark of a disciple. In John 13, verse 35, it says there, so that everyone would know that you are my disciple by your love. Sacrament is just one part. The other part is faith. And faith comes from experiencing the love of the Father. And as we experience more and more of the love of the Father, and as we learn to love ourselves, we will be able to love even our enemies.